I am also picking an Australian for my one to watch. At 90 to 1, he is a major champion. He has that green jacket hanging in his closet. I am taking Adam Scott this week. Um, now, obviously, you track Adam Scott. He is playing so good right now. He's back to number 38 in the official world golf rankings. He's coming off a, a T5 and a T8 in his last two events on the PGA Tour. And when the PGA Championship was here in 2013, he finished fifth as well. Um, so he's played the course before, obviously. Um, Adam Scott is just, he, he's a, a veteran on the PGA Tour now. And he is playing so well, as I said. You know, looking at his stats, he is 16th in par four scoring average right now, 26th in putting average. And I looked at his off the tee stats on the tour and he's within the top 30 right now. So he's playing great golf. Um, he was in the mix last week, as I said, at the AT&T Byron Nelson. So he's got the momentum and um, he's won a major before. He knows what it feels like. So Adam Scott at 90 to one, I love. It would not surprise me to see Scotty, we call him the jacket because he's the only Australian that's won the Masters, to reproduce Jason Duffner type stats to win this tournament. Putting 16th, he doesn't have to put lights out like a Cam Smith does to win this tournament because it's probably going to be six, seven, eight under par is going to win it. So if Scotty can hit a bunch of greens, uh, he could reproduce. You know, he doesn't have to, as I say, put lights out. Greens and red, driving. No, I, I love Scotty here this week. 